Joining me today on NYSE Floor Talk is Jake Lusararian. He is the CEO and co-founder at Gecko Robotics. Jake, fantastic to have you here. Thanks for joining me today. I'm so excited to be here. Thanks. It's, I'm so excited to talk with you. <laughs> Tell me about Gecko Robotics and what, what inspired you to start the company from your college dorm room? Well, Gecko Robotics builds robots and software to help to operate, maintain, and build uh, critical pieces of infrastructure that power the world around us. Um, I started the company out of a college dorm room back in 2013. I was studying electrical engineering and basically found that the critical infrastructure, like a power plant that we rely on, is just old and it's failing at a crazy rate that's actually in causing things like doubling the amount of blackouts in the last five years to things like bridges collapsing um, or um, uh, in the defense sector, we can't get ships out of dry dock on time to, to and deter conflict. So, you know, all around us, we're just seeing this, the physical world um, is beginning to fail us. And so Gecko's here to help solve that. Mm -hmm. So talk to me about the industries that you serve and what are some of the interesting ways that your technology is being used? We uh, started in the energy sector and then that um, evolved to the manufacturing sector, defense sector and public infrastructure sectors. But basically what we are doing in each of those sectors um, is we are using robots to go in and gather information and data about the health and structural integrity of those physical structures. So think of a pipeline, think of a ship, think of a, um, uh, think of a, uh, a big tank that's you know, holding a lot of important uh, materials or chemicals. We're going in there to gather information about um, the condition of all those assets and ensure that they're going to be there for us for the next 50 years, but also how to improve the performance of those assets. And you can't do that without information that robots that are climbing walls or walking around on the floors um, or flying around or fixed sensors, without all the information coming into one central source of truth. And so that's what Cantilever is. We built Cantilever as a artificial intelligence driven software that powers decisions for the biggest oil and gas companies in the world, for the Air Force and for the Navy, both domestic and allied. Um, and man, it's having some incredible impact as it relates to the kinds of decisions that customers can be armed with if you have data that never existed before. Now, I've heard you mention clean data. Talk to me about the importance of clean data. Um, tell me about its value. Yeah. So. When we think about clean data, when I founded the company 10 years ago, I just looked around at the physical universe and I said, we don't really know that much about built structures. Uh, we don't know that 17,000 bridges are in New York and only six of them are not in need of immediate repairs right now. Um, we don't really know exactly where to fix those things either. So I call this first order data. So you don't actually um, have the ability to leverage things like artificial intelligence to impact you know, really big problems in the world unless you have information and good clean data uh, to be able to build uh, useful algorithms off of. And so you have to start with the foundation and then you can build amazing um, infrastructure off of that foundation. But you have to start with what is the um, highest fidelity, the best source of truth to be able to build really impactful technology, especially software. So when I think about building software, I very much interrogate um, uh, software companies as it relates to what are they building the software on top of. And um, you, know, you might be able to pull customer data and build software on top of that, but sometimes customer's data isn't right and it's not complete. And so what we're doing is we're filling in those gaps and ensuring that we start with the first order data sets and build software from there. All right, and finally, Jake, tell me what's new and exciting at Gecko Robotics? We have some new robots coming out uh, for customers. Uh, we're getting into sectors in the uh, aerospace, uh, which we'll be announcing pretty soon, as well as some large, uh, um, some large work in the maritime sector as well. The thing I'm actually really excited about is we're beginning to affect operational decisions at uh, customer sites specifically right now in manufacturing. That stack will begin to merge into the power and energy sectors. But right now we're very focused on some of this new breaking technology on the software and robotic side on the manufacturing sector that's beginning to increase margins of uh, our customers that are able to make decisions with new information that we're bringing to the table uh, combined with their existing information um, all collated inside of Cantilever that's actually producing increases of capacity and increased useful life of the assets that they need to ensure that they can make the products that we all use every single day. So. Wow, exciting times ahead for Gecko Robotics. Jake, it's been wonderful to talk with you. You too, Julie. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. Absolutely, it's been fun. <laughs>